you gorgeous welcome back to my studio if you're new here my name is talia stanton and i'm a full-time artist working just a short drive away from melbourne if you joined me for the last vlog you'll have seen that my team and i have just returned from a month-long adventure throughout europe and the uk whilst being a part of london fashion week after expanding so many horizons and meeting incredible people from across the globe it was then time to start working on my very first big solo show this was an enormous endeavor to undertake as I had just under two months to create a collection of work that was bold enough and big enough to fill an entire gallery space. Prior to this exhibition, an original painting would typically take me up to four months to complete due to business deadlines and something that we've touched upon previously in this channel is the more you grow as an artist, the less actual time you have to create the work that you love doing. And almost immediately, I felt the weight of forging a new habit of painting consistently every single day. Good morning, beautifuls. It has been two weeks of me consistently painting every day, like oil painting and the headaches have started to really get to me. So I've been working on a lot of drawings. Instead, I've been working on like literally over 20 paintings all at once at the moment. It's probably like the most amount of work I've ever created in such a condensed period of time. Here is a graphite drawing that I've been working on. I have this print of Exhale that has been framed up and like she doesn't really belong anywhere in my studio at the moment. So we're hoping to repurpose that gorgeous frame with this drawing. And I've never actually worked on 24 by 24 inch original drawing before. A common question that you guys ask me is how do you stay motivated to paint consistently? And a big part of that is creating deadlines for yourself and giving yourself really strict parameters to work within. Maybe you could consider creating a schedule for yourself that's really firm and treating it as if it's a work day. So we typically have lunch breaks for this schedule. I was not really taking lunch breaks, but I didn't have a choice. I had too many pieces to work on. As I was working within such a tight deadline, I was up before the dawn and painting with the sun and I continued working well into the wee hours of the morning, if you catch my drift. And look, is something like that sustainable in your business long term? Absolutely not. But for the short term, in little bursts, it is a really valuable asset to your business. But please take that advice with a very generous pinch of salt because everybody's energy levels are very different. What we can handle creatively and in our output work-wise is just very different. So be aware of your energy levels. Don't stretch yourself too thin if you feel like, oh, burnout's showing up. You know, we're not burnout girlies anymore. We... We have processes to help combat her when she rears her head. <laughs> These are the two final major works that I had prepared for the solo show and they were both 36 by 48 inches and pure oil, which was just oh, so, so amazing to just continue that exploration of pushing the limits of what I was capable with when using just pure oils. There is no better way to grow as an artist and make massive leaps and bounds than creating a lot of work in a short period of time. This painting is definitely going to need another layer of varnish. I'm thinking maybe a Demar varnish, maybe like Windsor & Newton, purely because sometimes if I use Galkid too heavily in an area, the varnish can actually repel it a little bit. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of pulling in strange ways. Even if I try to brush over it, like look, it just goes straight back. Isn't that weird? And yeah, this is what the show is looking like at the moment. Please excuse the mess. We just got this girl back from the framers varnishing material. <laughs> One of the most valuable lessons I learned during all of this was not to overthink your painting process. And I know we've discussed perfectionism quite a bit on this channel already, but it is a constant battle that we need to face within ourselves with almost every single painting. There will always be that little voice in the back of our heads saying that we are not creating good enough work or that it's just not perfect, it's not worthy to be seen. But who are we to be the judges of that? Art is subjective and done is better than perfect. Maybe it's just a process of learning to get out of our heads. And if you can feel that moment where you've truly like fallen into your flow state while you're painting, you don't think anyway. So 
Getting obsessed over every tiny little detail isn't really the purest expression of yourself. I've often found that it's not really a voice that's you. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. We're all ready to go. We're just about to load up the car. This is us going to Melbourne to go stock this gallery. The first time that we've like done this. After two months of preparation and a lot of work, adding those final little touches was just the most satisfying thing ever. <laughs> Once everybody's cars were fully filled with the artwork, we made the journey to Melbourne and just got to enjoy the sights and feel nice and accomplished after this big, big endeavor. <laughs> As soon as we got there, we started laying out the gallery in a way that we thought would make the artwork look really nice. And we started unboxing these pieces and big thank you to the framers. They did an amazing job. Um, we really struggled to get them out of the boxes. The whole install took about an hour to do and I'm just so grateful for my team. Like you guys are just absolutely incredible. Um, while we were finishing up the install, Andy went to the airport to pick up a very special friend. Say hello for the vlog. Oh, it's a video. Hello. This is Chase, and he came all the way from America to visit and see the show. By the way, did I tell you about... <laughs> oh. I was gonna tell you secrets. <laughs> That's excessive. No, I... it's Let's get it. You want me to do the whole thing? Yeah. Cold right. <laughs> doesn't work. I yeah. burned my mouth to get it out. <laughs> So excited. Is that it? Oh, you Oops. don't want it. Hi, Gudget. Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Cuties. <laughs> the first thing on the bucket list was to take Chase to the Ballarat Wildlife Park to go meet some kangaroos, and they very kindly put us in with the meerkats, and that was just so sweet. <laughs> After another day of painting in my studio, we went to the Honeysuckle Farm to photograph our new fine art prints for the release just before the opening of the solo show. Something that drastically improved the sales of my fine art prints online, and something that I hope can really work for you too, is to focus on lifestyle photography instead of solely product photography. While they certainly go hand in hand, lifestyle photography focuses more on the essence of what your artwork brings to someone's home and their lives. We've taken to seasonally going to friends' homes and hiring out spaces just to do product photography shoots and it has made an enormous difference. So if it's something that you would be interested in doing, I could not recommend it more. But honestly, the best part about doing photo shoots with your friends is that it's just an awesome time and just to have those memories of doing weird, goofy things. But yeah, it's just fun. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so pretty! Oh my god! <laughs> There's a mirror in there now. Yeah. I love it. And before we knew it, it was the morning of the show and here I am getting ready and you just know that I had to pull out the dress from London Fashion Week again. Hello. 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 Okay, so we are at the gallery before everyone starts to arrive and we've just set up the boards for the charcuterie. Like seven meters, I think. Yeah, are you excited? <laughs> Very excited. We arrived at 11 a.m. for a 2 p.m. start and it was just so surreal to see the artwork on the walls and then the grazing fox from Melbourne came and they did such an incredible job with the charcuterie board. Like I can't wait for you to see it. It was just amazing. Of course, back to the previous vlog, always keep moving if you are doing photo shoots. That is the biggest piece of advice I have for you if you are taking photos with your artwork. Feeling comfortable in front of the camera is definitely a skill that takes some time to learn, but honestly confidence is also a skill so it's just it doesn't even have to be real it just needs to look real so it's like a mindset shift to choose to feel confident in that moment it's pretty. It's pretty. again so impressed with the charcuterie board like we were just ah oh, loving it we ended up getting custom cookies made and before I knew it people started coming they started arriving and it was so overwhelmingly beautiful to just see you guys in person and hug you and look into your eyes and listen to your stories. It was wild. <laughs> At one point, one of you guys asked to take a photo with me in front of the artwork and I was like, yeah, sure, absolutely. And I gave them so, so much focus that like when I 
looked up, there were so many people waiting in line to take photos with the painting as well. And I was like, what is happening? This is like surreal. But truly just the biggest hug of sincere gratitude for every single one of you. It was so eye-opening to actually be there in person with you guys and I'm so grateful to like everybody who came but like so many people flew in like interstate for this exhibition and that was so humbling I just hope I did you guys proud Mess my stuff up. I'm just gonna make it seem even shorter. This is actually a 9 by 12 Now beat the devil out of it Yeah ready <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I do. I see my girl. <laughs> Say hello for the vlog. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, baby girl. Sophisticated. Joke that. Right. So these are some of my oils, and in here are my Charvins. This is my like warm toned Old Holland paints, my big boys, and my mini Charvins. Gamblin actually sent these to me as a thank you for like. Are you serious? Yeah. After a little tour of my studio and showing Talitha around, we all spent some time painting together, and there is something so magical about painting with other people it's something that is just so cherished when it happens so yeah and we continue to work on a little collaboration working on the same canvas and oh my god <laughs> For one of our final days together, we took Chase back into Melbourne to show him the NGV and Acme, which are some of my favourite places in Melbourne just to hang out and get inspired by old beautiful paintings and cinematography. Just, I just, I love cinema. It's honestly one of my favourite mediums of art ever. And if I wasn't a painter, I would 100% just be a director of films. But I'm so grateful that, like today, artists, we get to do both of those things if we want to. And yeah, it's just something to be very grateful for. When it comes to watching content online by artists and just people you really like to pay attention to, it's like you're seeing how they see the world and moments that bring them so much joy and what they find is beautiful. I just find it so moving. If you're ever visiting Melbourne, I just really think that Acme and the NGV are just amazing places to experience in person. This was also Drew's first time at Acme and I just loved showing him some of the gaming stuff because we're both like big, big gamers. And yeah, his favorite game is Hollow Knight and gaming has just brought so much peace back into our lives and especially spending time on things that aren't always business related and aren't always content production and just living authentically and genuinely and spending time in sketchbooks and making friends and being open to making friends. I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes into my studio. Thank you so, so much for joining me and until I see you again, happy painting. <laughs>